I think it's fair to say that if the rumors surrounding the HTC U12 Plus are accurate, it is going to be a geek's phone. According to Evan Blass, who spoke with a person familiar with HTC's plans, the U12 Plus sports two 8 megapixel selfie cameras and a 12 and 16 megapixel combo around the back. The fingerprint scanner is also found around the back, though it thankfully occupies its own space below the cameras. Reportedly below the two selfie cameras is the U12 Plus's six inch LCD panel with WQHD Plus resolution. If you squeeze the phone out of frustration over the lack of AMOLED, you will trigger HTC's second generation Edge Sense software. Even though we don't know yet how it differs from the first generation Edge Sense, the feature lets you launch apps and shortcuts by squeezing the sides of the phone. Under the hood, Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor and six gigabytes of RAM reportedly power the U12 Plus. The phone offers 64 gigabytes or 128 gigabytes of expandable storage through the micro SD card slot and a 3420 milliamp hour battery, somewhat average for today's big phones. Now, if these specs sound familiar, it's because the HTC custom ROM developer lab 2 fur hinted at those not too long ago. lab 2 fur also suggested that the U12 plus runs Android Aureo right out of the box and features HTC's face sense, presumably a facial recognition feature. Now you might be thinking if there is an HTC U12 plus, maybe there's also going to be an HTC U12, but probably not. Seeing how the rumored U12 was codenamed Imagine, it could be that HTC wanted to focus its resources on one flagship smartphone instead of two. So when do we expect to see the U12 Plus? Well, we were thinking in April, but now we're expecting late April, early May. But HTC, if you're listening, take your time. Produce something that matters. What do you guys think about the U12 Plus? Let me know in the comments below or on Twitter. Bye.